Hello YouTube, and today you can see I've got the playfield of a Stern Elvis lifted, and the reason is it's time to finally rebuild those flippers that I was having problems with. Uh, the Stern parts aren't as easy to get hold of of the Williams, but Andy Neverwood at Pinball Mania has managed to supply exactly the parts I need. So, let's start dismantling those and get them repaired. So job number one is to remove the flipper bats by using this mini ratchet. So just loosen those and I should be able to pull the bats out from the playfield. And just to demonstrate what the actual problem is, this part here, where it basically connects to this pole, there's a bearing inside there and there's a lot of play in that. Actually, look. What happens is, when you flip, you're losing a lot of the energy in this movement here. So, this bearing and bolt needs replacing. I've actually taken this off already so I know that even the, uh, the, the bolts are actually worn through. The, the threads of the bolt are actually worn right into the bearing, so it's actually been threaded even though it shouldn't be. So that's been it's been worn out for a very long time. That okay, so we can see that the coil end stop definitely needs replacing. The new ones on the left and the old one on the right, which actually got a bit shorter than the new one, and you can see it's mushroomed down slightly from the impact of the plunger. So we'll replace that as well while we're doing this. I actually put a new uh, plunger and coil sleeve on about 500 games ago, but as it's a bit scratchy already, I think I'll replace these again. The quality of these modern plungers doesn't seem to be so good. They're a little bit scratchy, and that's probably why it's worn that coil sleeve out already. Um, so what I'm going to do is just polish this new one up with some autosol to try and smooth it out as best as possible, and that might help things last a bit longer. So there's the two new plungers shined up to a mirror finish with some autosol. That should reduce the friction in the coil sleeve. And the rest of the mechanism is all a bit dirty, so I'm just going to get some isopropyl alcohol and clean it all up. And then we have the playfield bushings here, and the old one on the left, the new one on the right, obviously. And you can see that the old one has worn down by maybe about a millimetre there. Nothing critical yet, but definitely worth replacing for a few pence to save the playfield getting scratched by the flipper bats. Okay, so this is the old flipper bearing and bolt. I and mean, look at that, look how much movement there is between... You can sort of twist it. And it's sort of got grooves in it now, so there's a gap all the way around it. That's the old one. And then this is the new one from Pinball Mania. And you can't twist this one. So I think that's going to make a big improvement. New bearing and bolt fitted, new plunger, new coil sleeve, everything's been cleaned up. New playfield bearing and new end stop to go on, so we're just going to reassemble it all now. The flipper bat's a bit horrible with all the old rubber stuck to it, so I'm going to clean it up the best I can. I don't have any new ones at the minute and put a new rubber on, but that does want to be replaced at some point because it's a bit horrid. And that's one flipper mechanism fully cleaned up, rebuilt and restored and ready to play. Now I just need to repeat the same process for the other and we're good to go. And that's the second flipper mechanism fully rebuilt and ready for playtesting. While I'm working on this Elvis machine I thought another thing I should look at is this uh, the ball guide here on the shooter lane. Uh, when you fire the ball it should basically follow this lightning bolt and go around the loop. But you'll see it basically misses and bounces. So I think what we need to do is basically adjust this uh, deflector here to try and send it a bit lower and that should be okay. Okay so we've taken this part of the playfield apart to make some adjustments to that guide. Now let's see where the ball goes. And it went round the loop as planned. Now one problem I've been having with this Elvis pinball is that the buttons are absolutely terrible and they will stick in and you end up the flipper stuck up halfway through the game. So time for some new buttons. So replacing the buttons is a relatively simple procedure, although slightly time consuming. Uh, you do need to empty the balls and fully lift the playfield up. Uh, next step is basically to remove the switch blades, basically two crosshead screws. Remove that, then you've got two metal nuts to remove. Once that's removed, it's basically a case of bashing the button out from this side, putting the new button in and then refitting the nuts and the switch contacts. So it shouldn't take me more than a few minutes really to do both and I'll report it when done. Now in order to gain access to the right flipper, I've needed to remove the ball plunger. Now, I don't know if you can see very well on the camera, but it's actually quite rough. And it doesn't actually shoot very well, it gets sort of, it's a bit sticky. So basically what I'm going to do is polish this with some auto sole paste, which is actually very good metal polish. Um, and then basically clean the bearing with a 
and cotton buds and some isopropyl alcohol get any dirt out of there and that should be a lot smoother I mean it don't, I don't think it needs replacing it's actually in fairly good condition it's just a bit scratched up as, as they do get over time so yeah if we can clean that up it'll come good and we'll replace this button and there we have it nice new snappy flipper buttons it's amazing the difference it actually makes and also this has now been polished and is nice and snappy as well so it should make it easier to get skill shots so let's uh, fire up and give it a test Another little quick thing I did was, uh, the spot note light was actually very washed out, sort of whitish blue compared to the darker blue of the, the normal uh, note lights. So I fitted a blue LED and it's made it a closer match now.